Hey YouTube, Puff and Snuff here, Ian checking in, as always from beautiful Northeast Ohio. I'll apologize in advance, uh, as you can see, I'm obviously outside, and I got the sun like right, right there. Uh, so my choice is either uh, stare at the sun, or uh, be mostly in shadow on camera. And so for today, I, I chose my eyes over yours. Um... I haven't put a video up in a while. I haven't put many videos up this summer, to be honest. It's just been busy, busy, busy. Although gathering by um, the the channels I subscribe to in my YouTube feed, I'm not the only one. It's been a pretty quiet summer um, in YouTube land, as far as I can tell. But I did want to jump on today. I'm just finishing up. In fact, I think I may have finished the last of the bowl. Um, my first, uh, my first bowl of my own blend through pipes and cigars. Smoked it in my trusty Bingham. Um, really, really happy with with the the process with my own blend. Thought it was a lot of fun. It was actually, you know, to be honest, I was almost hoping to not be super satisfied with you know my own blend. Um, just to have an excuse to either go back and tinker with it or to say, yeah, it's not really worth the time and money. Um, but as it happens, I'm very pleased. Uh, for my first blend, I went. I was aiming for something that was uh, a little smoky, uh, strong, kind of uh, dark, rich, nothing sweet, um, nothing too light. Uh, so I went with something, and, and actually I had to kind of augment the my own blend process. You can only use four varieties of uh, tobacco, and uh, you know I wanted uh, some some dark fired. And then Virginia, Burley, uh, a handful of each of those. And uh, suddenly I didn't have a fifth slot for Perique, so I actually ordered some, some blending Perique in addition to um, the starter blend. And so what I ended up with was 10 ounces of tobacco. Uh, it's 10% dark fired, 20% uh, Perique, and then 70% mixture of uh, Burleys and Virginia. If it's a little heavier on the, the total Burley bill. Um, and boy, is it is it it really is good. Uh, it's it's just about dead now, but uh, definitely smoky, uh, nutty from the Burley, definitely spicy from the Perique. Named the blend uh, Municipal Stadium. Obviously, I'm from Northeast Ohio. I, I say that in every at the opening of every video. And uh, you know, growing up. You know, went to quite a few games with Dad, uh, Browns games down at the old Cleveland Municipal Stadium. And uh, if ever there were a place that in my mind kind of conjures that image of um, just a, a working class, blue collar, strong, smoky, dark, deep, no nonsense um, kind of smoke, it's uh, it was Cleveland Municipal Stadium, so I kind of named the blend after that, it pretty much captures that. I think the only thing it doesn't capture is uh, the smell of stale beer and uh, you know urinal troughs in the men's bathrooms. Um, so we can be glad for that. But otherwise, this blend has done absolutely everything I was hoping it would do. I think if I were to play with it, uh, because I am a Perique head, I might um, I might up the Perique a little more, maybe. I don't know. You know, the only, um, the only thing I'll say about it is the Virginia and the Perique are a little sharp, uh, which is fine. I've got 10 ounces of this. I'm probably going to hold an ounce or two back to uh, to smoke through here over the next month or so, uh, throw it into the rotation. The rest is going to get jarred up, and I'm going to give it a year to take the edge off of um, all the non-Burleys in there and, and, and revisit this down the road. Uh, but yeah, really, really excited by this. Uh, I dig it. So uh, count me in among the fans of uh, Pipes and Cigars, my own blend. It's a great program. Um, the only complaint, and it's a small one, is that I was actually going to order two. Two. Actually going to order two um, custom blends. And uh, the other one was going to be... Um, uh, you know, obviously a base of Burley in Virginia, but it was going to have uh, a little Latakia, it was going to have a little Oriental in it, um, and I would have probably also ordered some Perique as well to throw in there. Kind of go more for a, a Perique up Balkan uh, kind of blend, but uh, the website would let me create multiple blends, but I could only ever get one 
uh, one item in the cart at a time. It wouldn't let me have two different my own blend orders in the shopping cart at checkout, which minor nuisance, but no big deal. I mean, I order frequently enough um, from pipes and cigars that I could always just toss it in the next one. Let's see if I can milk this for two more puffs. I think she's about done. Um, but again, you know, that's a minor thing. I actually sent them a message. I don't remember if I emailed them or if I sent it over Facebook, but I sent them a message um, asking if I was doing anything wrong, and, and they verified that no, it's a it's a system limitation they have right now that they are working on on correcting. So I mean, it's good to know they know about it and they're they're taking a look at it. But um, I think that's all for me. Just a busy summer. Uh, it's been a lot. I haven't done. A, I've smoked almost no pipe tobacco this summer. To be honest with you, I've had. Um, Probably about a dozen decent cigars. By the way, in this order, and I'll do a video when I smoke it, I also ordered one of those Spectre cigars, which is, it's they, P&C's had it in their catalog for a while, uh, but it's a cigar that incorporates Latakia. Um, so that could be interesting. I, I ordered two, one for me, one for a buddy at work. I'd be interested to get his thoughts. Um, I'll definitely want to smoke that before the fall comes. I'm, I'm definitely a warm weather cigar smoking kind of guy uh, but it's been a lot of snuff um, a lot of old mill snuff uh, finished off a tin of Sam Gallus black coffee nothing uh, nothing too remarkable um, but I am looking forward to back in, in the snuff land I am looking forward to uh, Bananas Foster there's something that it looks like uh, old mill is going to be releasing soon that could be fantastic uh, you know one last thing I don't know if anybody who is watching me, if anybody is watching me, anybody that's in kind of the uh, the Ohio, Kentucky, uh, Indiana area, but the uh, NASPC, the North American Society of Pipe Collectors annual pipe show uh, is this coming weekend. Uh, I don't have the dates. I think it's the 28th and 29th of August, whatever the last Friday and Saturday the calendar month of August is uh, coming up, so four days from now. Uh, kicking off uh, in Columbus. I will be there. I've been there. I think this will be my, my fourth that I've been to. Uh, so if anyone's going to be there, if anyone sees this you're going to be there, shoot me a message or leave a comment and uh, we'll make a point to get together and have, uh, have at least one smoke together. I'm there uh, usually out in the smoking patio pretty much all day Saturday. Um, you know, walk the floor a few times, just kind of hang out and, and smoke with some like-minded tobacco enthusiasts so uh, if you're gonna be there holler uh, if not you should think about getting there one year it's a hell of a time if you haven't been to any pipe show get to a pipe show uh, it's a good time um, alright guys that uh, that is it for me uh, so until next time take it easy